Moving on, uh, we'll see a button here that would uh, engage the comp or the gate. Uh, again, we've got the clear uh, view button, so if uh, I were to tap this guy, we move over to the compressor, we'll notice, uh, you know, pretty standard compressor controls, makeup gain, ratio, attack, release, and threshold. What Midas has done here is uh, you've got this guy that says mode, then right here's a mode button, so if I were to tap this mode, you'll see that we've got uh, compressor adaptive, creative, vintage, and corrective. And what Midas has done is they've come up with uh, not so much four different brand emulations, but four different uh, compressor style styles. Um, so uh, you can actually, you know, uh, in real time, cycle through those and listen to what each different style of compressor is going to do across your input. Um, and if you'll notice, as I hit mode. Uh, None of the uh, parameters change, ratio, threshold, makeup, release, attack, all of those stay the same. It's just going to change what kind of compressor. Um, these are not a plug-in. This is all straight onboard DSP, so this isn't using up uh, any processing power or anything like that. Um, uh, for one second, I will select uh, an aux, and we're going to notice when I select this that we've uh, changed over to uh, uh, an aux send as opposed to that. I'm now going to select the compressor section for the aux send, and you'll see here we've got a, a, a fifth one called the Shimmer Compressor, and this is a, a compressor that uh, Midas has geared really straight towards uh, outputs, and this compressor is only available uh, in an output. Any of the uh, groups, uh, matrixes, buses, uh, or the uh, left, right, and mono buses um, have this available to, and you cannot access the Shimmer Compressor from an input, uh, mainly because this compressor was designed uh, for an output. So we will go back to our input channel. Uh, now if I were to hit view mode for gate, we've got a gate, uh, now visual representation of the gate and uh, uh, when signals flowing you'll actually see a line of signal uh, come across here. Uh, just for the sake of being able to see something, let's actually turn on uh, the oscillator here and um, we will uh, now we'll look at this in, in compressor world first. We see this visual indication that uh, uh, once we're going over the knee, now we're starting to see some uh, some gain reduction happening. And uh, uh, over here, we would see the same thing uh, uh, with the gate as well. So um, there would be uh, now that I turn the gate on, uh, we can see that signal has far exceeded the threshold of the gate and the gate would be open. Um, if I raised the threshold of the gate, which we can see now, we would notice that uh, the gate has slammed shut and uh, no signals passing. We can let that guide back down and see that uh, that signal is opening and closing it. If I disengage the gate, uh, it doesn't route any signal through the gate, which uh, uh, I find to be a relatively nice feature.